Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, what are we doing today? Something nice and delicious. There it is. Oh, we're doing uh, an Aldi lamb shank in red wine gravy. Now, I have done the one in mint gravy before, uh, which was absolutely delicious, but I've never done that one. Um, so that's what I'm going to have today. And I'm also going to have it with some broccoli stems and cheesy mash. Got me mash, got me uh, but chopped my potatoes up. I got mozzarella, a bit of butter. And what I'm going to do with my mash is I'm going to put it in the oven once I've mashed it all. I'm going to get a nice crispy top on it. So a bit like cheese and potato pie, but I'm not putting any onions and that in it. That's what we're going to do. So first things first, we'll show you the lamb shanks, uh, well the box anyway. So I'm going to put it back in the freezer because we're not using doing that yet anyway. Um, four, uh, six pound forty nine p, reduced from six seventy nine, I think. Uh, there's your nutrition, guys. Well, you yeah. uh, let's put me reading glasses on so you can see. Five hundred and seventy one cows for one. I think that says. Uh, where's the nutrition? There it is. This pack contains two servings, and we're both gonna have one each. Nat and I. Ingredients and to cook it, you can do them in the microwave. No, thank you. It's going in the oven. Uh, remove all packaging, empty pouch into an oven proof dish and cover with foil. Place on the middle shelf of a preheated oven and cook one shank for 50 minutes or two shanks for 65. Well, two shanks then. Remove the foil and turn the shanks. Return to the oven for 15 minutes for one shank. And 10 minutes for two shanks. Uh, after cooking, stir through the sauce and pour over the shanks. There we go. So it's one, 15 minutes for one shank and 10 minutes for two shanks. Okay. Anyway, let's put that back in the freezer until we need it. Because first, we're going to be doing the good old spuds. Because what I'm going to do, we're going to boil the spuds, obviously drain them. Um, and then we're going to get the cheese in and mash it all up. And then I want, I'm going to put it in a bowl and it's going to sit in the fridge until I'm ready because if you leave like a cheesy mash in the fridge you get, it gets better cheesy, a bit like a marinade really, that's all. But that's what we're going to do guys. So let's boil that up and we're having a pudding as well which I forgot to show you. Let me show you my pudding. Oh yes, oh yes, oh lovely stuff. Is it a pudding? I'm a pudding and a cake. This is a big, big, big pack more to share. One pound twenty-five p from Aldi, obviously, with some Aldi custard. That's what I'm going to have for pudding. I'll probably cut a bit off, put them in some bowls, uh, but I'll probably warm it up in the microwave, and then pour the custard on top. That's for afters anyway. Potatoes are done and drained, nice and easy. Now I want to get myself some butter. Uh, I, I did uh, salt my pan of water, guys. I don't think I told you, but I did. I want a bit of butter because I want to have it nice and creamy. I'm going to get a few bits of butter in there, like so. I'm going to leave that to melt the butter for a minute or two. And we'll start mashing. So just mash your potatoes and get your cheese in. And a bit of milk if you need to, or more butter. It's entirely up to you. It's only mashing it. And put a little drop of milk in, I think. Or cream if you want cream, guys. Do you put eggs? Who puts eggs in there? Mash. I know some people use eggs, don't they? Put an egg in the mash. I don't do that. I just pile up your cheese. And just mash and then add more cheese and mash again and add more cheese and until it's incorporated. Oh yes, and look at all that gooiness there, look, that's what you want for some cheesy old mash there. Right, get it in some bowls. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple, because I'm going to have one for Sunday, I think. To go to the Sunday dinner, that's what I'm going to do, I think, guys. 
Well, two, because I've got loads here. Because the longer you leave this cheese on there, the better it'll taste. And finish off with a little bit of extra cheese on top. And that will go in the fridge now for about an hour. Okay, guys, on to the lamb shank now. Right, it's already open. Uh, there they are. Oh, yes. I've took them out for a minute because you've got to get them out of them bags. Uh, so I might have to leave it up there for 10 minutes to get them out properly because we want to get as much of that juice as we can. So, uh, and I'm going to do them in my casserole dish. And I was just thinking, which I could have done actually, which I didn't think at the time, I only just thought about it. You could do them as like a one, a one pot meal, couldn't you? Get them in there with some carrots and some celery and some onions and get it in the oven for an hour. You know what I mean? Anyway, I'll give them 10 minutes or so so I can get the plastic off and then we'll get them in. So guys, that's what it looks like before it goes in the oven. And that's what it looks like after guys. And it smells absolutely delicious. Oh yes. I've just done myself my broccoli stems in there with uh, some vegetable stock, that's what you call it. Right, let's dish up. And there's my cheese and potato pie, uh, which I forgot to show you. It smells delicious. Well, not cheese and potato pie, cheesy mash. That's what it is, isn't it? Not cheese and potato pie. It doesn't got any onions or the tomatoes or anything on there. We'll start off with a bit of that there, look. Oh, that gooiness. Oh, that gooiness. We'll get a lovely lamb shank to go with it. Uh, put it that way, like that. Bone up. And then we will get a couple of bits of broccoli stems to go on the side. Have that bit of rabbit food, ain't you? And then we'll top it off. I'll give that sauce a mix. I'll just give the red wine gravy a little bit of a more of a stir. So let's pour some on now. Make sure we keep some for both. And what do we think of that, guys? I think that looks delicious. Right, let's get up the table. Smells delicious. What do you think, Bob? I've done you. Really I'll give nice. you more gravy because oh. I know you like more gravy. Let me give you a quick show, guys. It's going to be boiling up, darling. You crack on, Bob, but it's going to be boiling up your mash and everything. Mm. Your cheesy mash. Mm. I think that looks absolutely stunning. Mm. Yeah. Try that red 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 wine gravy because we haven't we don't really have that, do we? Let's try yourself a bit, Bab. It's gonna be hot though. Just be careful. Quite yeah, nice. That's nice. what we want. It's nice. Nice and minty. Nice and minty. Yeah. Let's have a crack. It smells divine. Of the lamb, oh, yes, nice little bit of pink bit in the middle of the lamb. Let me show you that look. Oh, that's about cooked to perfection. Uh, should have got me over phone out to show you. Uh, look, that's about bang on for the lamb. And I've done it exactly as it said 65 minutes. I took the lid off. Uh, and then turned them over and all that stuff. It's going to be hot. Oh, I love that. That's really nice. That's so soft, isn't it, that lamb? Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's got quite a nice taste. Mm. It? It's so mm. soft. It's just falling apart, look. I mean, it did say it was very slow cooked, didn't it? Mm. Mm. I was saying when I was recording 
That'd probably be good as a a one pot. You put your vegetables in it and cook it all together. That's good order. Wouldn't yeah. it? That tastes nice. Like There's something nice and simple. Mm. Get it in the oven and do it. Yeah. Wouldn't it? All together, your carrots, your celery, your onions. Get it all covered up. Put some, mm. put some dumplings in there as well. I even put some dumplings in if you wanted. Mm. That's nice, that is. That is really nice. Let me try my cheese. But this is boiling. This is going to be boiling. <coughs> Cheesy mash. Mate, I've got to say I've got another one of them cheesy masses, it's in the fridge, another two, which I'm going to have for Sunday dinner. Oh, mmm. I'm happy now, have you? My fault. It's lovely. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. It's nice. Let me know, let me know what you think, guys, um, with that... Them lamb shanks, I think it's bang on. Mm. The meat one was really nice. We had ages ago. That's probably about 12 months ago now, I suppose, or something. I do like this one. And this one's nice as well. Yeah, I do like this one. Um, £6.49p now. For two. But I say, if you put a load of veggies in there and cooked it, got the two, you could have a meal, couldn't you? Yeah, you for could. four of you. Because you could pack it all up with the veg, couldn't you? Could and, you? And uh, shred the, the meat off. Or you got a bit of gristle. Oh, a bit of bone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice. I like that one. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, there we go. It's lovely. Lamb shank from Aldi in red wine gravy. That's the bang on for me. And I'll say, until the next time, we'll see you later with your cheesy mash and your little bit of a broccoli stem, which we do like, don't we? I was, I was only knowing whether to do broccoli stems or uh, asparagus, but I thought, no, we like broccoli stems. I like broccoli, broccoli's my favourite. Mm. And a little bit of vegetable stock. See you later, guys. Bye bye. Would you have that again before we go? <laughs> got your mouth full. You all got a mouth full. Just nod all, yeah, bad boy, yeah. <laughs> We're going to get. Bye bye, guys.